Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be working on this Prius right here. Now, I like the little Prius. It has the Synergy Drive which is a hybrid drive of battery and gas engine. Got the hood up today. This one's had a few problems. It's actually taking the wheel. Hey! Okay, YouTube. My car was just stolen. But before I file a police report and go cry to my insurance company, I want to know if I can find it. I just installed the My Subaru app, and I really want to know if it actually works. That may or may not be why my car was just stolen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up the app, is to locate my vehicle. Go ahead, get my fingerprint in, and the vehicle is located. So, let's try it out. Thankfully, I have this lovely 2012 Prius. So while we're in hot pursuit, we're going to be getting really good gas mileage. You get these big muscle cars, they can't go that far. You get a Prius, they can follow you for weeks without having to gas up. I think all police cars should be Priuses. So I believe all Subaru Outbacks of the Gen 5 at least have this feature. The only exclusions I'm aware of are the base models. So anything 2015 to 2019, you car thieves need to know it's got factory low jack in it. That's important. All right, Mr. Incredible stole my car. I think I know where he's at. Let's go find him. Oh man, there she is. That actually worked. <laughs> Found it. Hey, hey, that's my car. How do I, how do I put this in park? Hey, no. All right, YouTube. I know I look homeless now, but my GoPro died. The Prius battery did not, so I'm glad that I got to borrow this Prius. But the thief appears to be in the parking garage right now downtown. So I don't know what floor he's on, but let's go see if we can find them. Ah, I found him. How do I put this thing in park? Go away. Cameraman Tony. <laughs> Tony? Yes. What did you think? I surprised you when I backed out of the garage. You did. That <laughs> I, We did not. We obviously staged some of this, but there was a couple things that was not staged. Tony flooring it out of the garage was not staged, and I made sure to tell him that I, do not tell me where he was going. I genuinely had no idea where he went. Go to a public place. Don't tell me where it is. You know, go to a public place five or ten minutes ago, and don't tell me where it is. I want to see if it works, and it did. Yeah. And it actually was really quick and worked well. The second one, the garage. The garage, again, same setup. Go to one of three because we only have three in the immediate area and I, I knew he was going to a parking garage and we don't have that many we're not a big big city here what, name a big city new york yeah new york <laughs> it's not a place like new york we have one more thing we want to test and we're not going to have any gimmicks this time because nope. i'm really impressed with it uh the thing i want to test now is i want to rip the head unit out of the car and i'm willing to do that to make sure that it works for you all and really i'm curious myself because it worked in that it worked when the the head unit, when this thing could not tell me where I was, it could still tell my phone where he was. Yes. So it's either a separate GPS or it shows the last known location. So what are the things that we want to talk about? Uh, the cost? The cost. The cost. It cost a lot of money. Starlink subscription, I believe, is $149 for 12 <laughs> months. So $150 bucks for... 12 months is what? 12, 13 bucks a month? 12.50 or so. I did find a code that I just searched. Googled. Yeah, just searched for online and it was half off. I'll put it here. 
I don't have any references. I found it online, but it works for me, so maybe it worked for you too. That's actually what convinced me to do this video because I was ready to scrap the whole idea when I saw that it was 150 bucks. There's a lot of advantages you get. You can hit the little blue button and it'll say, you know, where do you want to go? And it'll actually program it into your GPS. A wild Blanca appears. It's the squeaky toy cat. She's still around. I don't understand why I have to... I have to file a police, police report to locate it, but then I can do the exact same thing natively from the app. It's not like I hacked that app in any way. Like, that's what the app does. I also don't understand why you can lock, or excuse me, why you can, like, remote turn on your lights and horn and flasher. I'll put up an image of that. Well, if you can locate the vehicle on yeah, a map. But say you're dumb. But we're going to rip the head unit out. So let me get that done real quick and we'll be back all right youtube this is what my dash looks like right now there's just a hole the head units down there well, there's some pieces here and if you're wondering no there's no warning lights what's up yanni boy i'm yanni tudeski <laughs> you actually came up with that pretty quickly high five oh uh, before we go there is also one more thing i wanted to test on the subaru starlink app shut up car the app will actually tell you how your vehicle is doing. So let's oh. see if it knows that nothing's there. Okay, yeah. As of 30 seconds ago, everything's good. Vehicle health report. Normal. Everything looks good. You want to see if we can break this? You want to see if it'll ever report anything wrong? What do we need to do? Oh, the brake system. And now it's really upset. Now it's really pissed. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now I don't even think, let me try I don't even think I can put it in park like this. Or, excuse me, take it out of the park. Yeah, I can't even do that. Vehicle health report is normal. As of uh, right now. No, yeah. All systems, there are no attention. So I'm gonna call this a fail on Subaru. Unless it only polls every so often, but it says it polled. Yeah, it says it's as of right now, 627, 627. All right, guys. I feel like there is some discrepancy here between the My Subaru app that says everything is normal as of 628 and this dashboard. Now, I'm not sure what that discrepancy is, but I will say as happy as I am with the locator app, on the locate function in the app this vehicle health report is kind of useless because it'd be different if it said it was last checked yesterday it says it was as of right now so that's a fail sorry Subaru let's see if the locator app works all right locating vehicle now it wasn't quick the first time it took it uh, 15, 20 seconds. So. You think we should uh, talk about something? Nah, you can just fast forward. Okay. I don't want to do a cut. No, I don't either. Just fast forward. Yeah, just do a fast 8, forward. 8,000 speed. Yeah, like 1 million X. Because I feel like a cut. Like because. Say, oh, you cheated. You did Because you can see the thing move that way that that your speed indicator you know I could just do nothing and then they could laugh at me for not editing the video properly well yeah that, that'd be amusing too. yeah you're a boomer so yeah I am actually, I'm a secret boomer uh, the thing I always go for is remember oh, what was her name Julia Childs okay Julia, you remember how yeah. she'd like screw up all the time and just keep going that's that's what I go oh, for. there we go oh all right, Starlink service is currently unavailable. Let me zoom in on that. Boop. See that? Okay, locate vehicle failed. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. What did we learn? That uh, you can't hold a camera. What did we learn, Tony? Let me look at myself so I know what's going on. Um, that it doesn't indicate on the dash that oh. it's being tracked. Yes. So the when you ping it, when you ping it from your phone, there's no indication. He got no indication at all that there was any that there was anyone looking. So if you 
have a cheating spouse and you want to ruin the relationship very quickly, top tip. Um, or if Subaru just wants to fuck with you, I mean, they can. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, government. Yeah, government. Yeah. They're watching anyway. Yeah. They're watching this video. Well, you just have to remove the head unit. Yes. So that's the third thing is I took the head unit out. I showed it. And it did not track. I couldn't find it. Uh, so I guess that's a top tip. If you're going to steal this car, rip the head unit out. Demonitor. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> it works pretty well. It works in a garage. It works when there's no GPS. The uh, health app, health vehicle health report is kind of a joke. And to completely disable it, you just rip the head unit out and... Yeah, that's what we learned a lot of stuff, actually. We had a good time, too. Actually, had, with the head unit out. With all those lights on, hmm. it didn't say anything. It didn't say anything about all those lights. So that part of the app needs work. I'm not upset that the fact that I ripped the head unit out means the Starlink doesn't work. <laughs> that's... I that was more disappear. <laughs> yeah, I, that was really more curiosity than anything. If I rip the engine out, do you think it's going to go anywhere? I mean, <laughs> but uh, I think we learned a lot today, and I had fun. That, that's the important part. He sung the chicken dance, and it's stuck in my head. Ba da ba da ba da ba. Ba da ba da ba da ba. The bird is the word. Ba da ba da ba da ba 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 ba.